This video we're going to learn how to push a repository online. Okay. So you can push a repository, uh, you can create a repository online either on GitHub or you can also do it on Bitbucket. Okay, so in this video I'm going to teach you how to do it uh, in Bitbucket. It's very similar to do it on GitHub as well, but uh, since Bitbucket I'm use, going to use a private repositories. That's why I'm going to show it over, over here. Okay, so I've already created an account on bitbucket.org. You can create one in case if you don't have it already. And now all you have to do is, this is my dashboard, I can click on this plus button to create a repository. Click on repository and name it. Now. I'm going to use my existing product uh, in a project. So I have a project called testing inside of my um, value folder, just to show that to you. So I'm inside my uh, root directory and I have my valley uh, directory, which has got all my projects inside of it. And testing is the name of the project that I'm going to be working on, pushing it online to Bitbucket. Okay, so I've got all different files inside of it. Okay, this is my index.php and things like that. You don't have to worry about all the codes inside of it because the main reason to show it over here, this is one of the live projects that I'm working on. Okay, so how do we do it? Okay, so testing currently is not a Git repository. How do we know it is not a Git repository? Oh, if you remember in the previous videos where I had explained that to you that all you have to do is do lsa and look for a .git repository, sorry, .git uh, directory. Since there isn't any, that means that it is not a Git repository. And of course, we don't have any message saying it's in Git, so that's fine. That also tells us that it's not Git repository. So let's uh, give it a name. You can give it a different name other than your project. So my project name is testing, but uh, I can give it a different name as well over here. But um, to keep things simple, let's keep it the same for now. Okay, this is a private repository, create repository. Okay, so <clears throat> you can click on I'm starting from scratch. Uh, don't worry about all of the code uh, just yet. What you can do is, the first thing you can do is type echo. So I have it written it over here. So first is <clears throat> echo. my project so my project name is this is the name of the project so my project name is testing so I can write testing what this is going to do is this is going to create a file called read, read me empty read me dot empty so just a read me file now as we already have learned that to create a repository we, all we have to do is just do git in it while we are inside of that directory so you can see initial, initialized empty git repository okay <clears throat> So now this is a Git repository, and if you do lsa, you can see that we have a Git directory over here. Cool. Okay, next thing what you need to do is um, basically uh, you need to do commit the changes. So you've already got the uh, readme md file uh, added in this. So if you check ls, um, you have the readme md file. Yep. Yeah? So we need to add this file. So you can do first. You can do git commit m first commit. <clears throat> okay, it says untracked files. Okay, initial commit. I remember uh, what was the meaning of the untracked file when we were learning it. Untracked means that files not added which means these are the files that are there in this project but they haven't been added to git only a git repository has been created and we have added the um, readme.md file uh, but uh, we haven't really we have created the readme.md file but we haven't really added that file in fact we haven't added any other files as well okay <clears throat> so what we're going to do is um, Next is, uh, I want to add remote, uh, git remote add origin. Okay, so what we need to do is we need to add uh, these uh, this repository to remotely to the uh, Bitbucket. In order for us to do that, we need to type git remote add origin command. <coughs> so, git remote add origin. Okay, and then we also need to specify the URL. Okay, so we'll get the URL over here. 
we can paste that and hit enter okay so it's been added now what we need to do is we need to push it to the online branch okay so we can do git push u origin master <clears throat> okay there is some error mm, fail to push some of the references to http okay let me check that one moment okay so you don't have to do the git uh, push u origin master okay once you're done with this git remote add origin and the path that you get from the uh, online what you can do is um, you can just add all these files because remember that if you check git status uh, these files have not been uh, you know added uh, to the repository git repositories that's why it says untracked files so all we have to do is now we'll not do git add and the file name because there are multiple files we need to add so hence we're going to use the command which is git add dot uh, so this means that uh, we're going to add all the files if you do this and then check the git status <clears throat> so you can see that changes to be committed which means these files have been added but not committed yet so we're going to use the git commit command add all files to the repo okay so you can see that these files have been added and committed all files to the repo okay now once that is done uh, then we need to push these changes to the online okay so all we have to do is just do git push origin so this is the command we need to use master <clears throat> and once we do that you can see that counting objects 24 done compressing writing objects total so it's been done to the master branch okay we can always check git branch and we can see sorry good branch and you can see that we only have one branch which is master now if you refresh the page over here you will notice that this branch has already been created if you click on it you can see this is the main branch if you click on it it's there you can check the source and you can see all of these files have been added yep and this is the master branch that we have we are working on and if you click over here you can see that two commits one was the first commit and second is add all files to the repo so this is the comment we had made all add all files to the repo so this was my second comment so there are two comments if you click on it you can see that these are the comments and these are the comment number which is called hash if you want to know it's the same you can just do git um, log and you can see that this these are the comment numbers 6c85 6c85 starting with 510e yep first commit at all first commit add all files to repo okay and it's been done on the master branch origin master yep press q quit clear it okay so this is how you will add uh, your git repository to online uh, repositories like bitbucket or the github okay Cool. All right. Now, now in the next video, we're going to learn how to create a branch um, and how to push it online. Okay.